this is bizarre because there's a there's a YouTuber called Paul Joseph Watson. I don't know if you've seen oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He's got a, he's really good actually. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. He's really interesting. And his I was looking at the YouTube and his came up. And he said Birmingham, a new hellhole, basically. And he said Soho Street, Hansworth. And that's where you were. And that's where I was. And it's bizarre because that came out the same day. And he was showing films. Loads of people are going down there now, YouTubers, yeah. filming it. And there's things like human feces, there's mm -hmm. drugs. It's just, I mean, you wouldn't, you you would be shocked, Nick, if you were. I know you've seen some things in your time. I've worked for the council. I've seen yeah. things like that. When you import the third world, you get the third world. All those things that are happening in that street are acceptable for those people where they came from. So I work for Manchester Council. The amount of times we would clean up an alleyway um, and within a week there'd be mattresses in it again, black bin bags, crap everywhere, rats everywhere. You couldn't clean the alleyways quick enough because the people who live there came from different cultures, different countries, and when they've got refuge, they just dump it because that's what they do in their country. The, once they see the council clean it up, they go, oh, that's what you do. You dump it there, council cleans it up. Mm. These are just cultural differences that they have no idea. We then started trying to educate these streets. But because the turnover is so fast, no sooner do you educate these immigrants coming in that they've moved on somewhere else now, a different city, a different street. New immigrants are coming, it starts all over again. The white British people living there end up moving out. Mm. It's like, I can't live like this. Mm. I can't live with the rats, the cockroaches, the crap everywhere. You put your bin bags outside or you're, or you're waiting for the bin men to come up and if your bin bags look nice as if it's closing them, your neighbours come out and rip them open to see what's in your bins in case there's anything they want. Um, it's absolutely horrendous. Mm. I, 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 it almost looked to me as if the council had given up cleaning there. I don't know whether they have. I would imagine they have. They just can't clean it quick enough. I, I would recommend to our, to our, our, our viewers watch that Joseph, uh, Paul Joseph Watson video because it is shocking. Mm. I, I genuinely... And, and, it's bizarre that I would happen to be on that yeah. street. That it, it is, but I wouldn't have been on that street if it hadn't been for that idiotic driver. Yeah. But I'm glad now yeah. because I saw that. Because I, you know, sometimes you think, oh, things are exaggerated. There was no exaggeration. I was actually quite shocked, mm. uh, and it took me back to my travels in India, my travels in Africa. When you see stuff like that, yeah. you know. But I think it's a really good point. You import the third world, you get the third world, mm. don't you? And and that's what's happening in those three. Because they're not like us, are they? Yeah, no, they're not. You can't no. import people from a failing culture, a failing country, think they get here and suddenly they're English men and women, they're not. Yeah, yeah. So there's no, so I suppose what you're saying in a way is there's no malice there. No. It's just, this is the way we live. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers, I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.